Eta nga ta lende la aste de le pi kinzen so te tene ta evam ta so evam ta tene ya gin te odi ana ta tene pa ke karo inda ngara so trik pa cho so ke ke tene nga te sho so res tene ke na ba ke so ana hi che nga de yo re tene tanda tene ta ba ke mu gun pa che sam ba ta ga na tanda ko ni ko gi shi ba na hi che ke tene tene nur lu pa che ta tene ko na ba ni tene la do bu so te del te ba tene re tu so tene nga ra ya ti ke cha ko ni ga shi bu chu so tene te tanda nga de re tene ta pe na ko ko ma ko ra ta re gun pa che ke ko ba tene tu se re pa che ke tu ke ta tene de tam che te tene ta ngi tene ta le tu tu ba do bu che so wor ba ta che ke dor sum ke wang de ba ta tene dor sum ke do cho ka ke de ba ja pi so tam che tene ta le gun pa che ke ne tu ko ko ba te re tu tene dum se re pa che ke ne wan ye ke tinte ke tene te ba ta tu ke ra tu ke ja sum bo she she ke re te ta le ma de o ne ke na ba tam che le te te nga ra ke she che pul tu ba te ka wo shi ta chu se de ma che che ke ta ko na ba tam che ke pe ya ko chu ma to pe bo chu ka wo chu se te ka la nga ra ya la ma la sha to tu se re pa che la sha to to ta tene ta re ke ke re pa che ke ko ba ya tu tu ba te nga ka wo chu se so i came here this time to australia um as you know and as you've said at the invitation of all of you here at Ivam Institute, also at the invitation of Odiana um, and Rigpa centers. Um, so with uh, these various invitations, um, then I came here and, we, and held this program that we just finished um, and so on. Um, you just mentioned now the connection between the late uh, Tralik Kyabin Rinpoche and the late Trini, Trini Nomba Rinpoche. Um, when I originally heard about their connection, I was so delighted. Um, yeah, delighted to hear of that. And this Vajrasattva practice, um, and yeah, and so on, that you're doing here, this was established, this was part of Tralik Yabgan Rinpoche's um, vision. Um, and also um, Trinyanobha Rinpoche's aspirations and prayers, no doubt. Um, this being the case, from my own side, I'm very pleased uh, to have had the opportunity to contribute to the fulfillment of Tralik Kyabgyan Rinpoche's own vision and also um, to the aspirations of Dungse Chininoba Rinpoche, who's one of my own teachers as well. Um, so, yeah, from my own side, I see this past few days of activities as um, a contribution to the Dharma, to the fulfillment of those great Lama's visions and um, service from my own side. In the Indian Kamate, I did a bomb with the Mechanical Pet Sutibushi with the Talama Shinch and a low Chuchuji to get so sad, Chuchuji hard to get sad at the Taro and Disney Chimoniki, Chuson Tig in the Dang of Japan, Saturday, Lama Taran Tiring, Dagora, Persona, Taran Sutibushi, resident to the Kalans Tamja Lama Majevacene, Lamiki Kagun. Dubala Tamsi and when a woman has seen it in the data when we told you Kala Kins of Western media and around so Pavana she read to some kids of Gaujum when it was. I've also been ex very impressed and delighted by everything I've seen here at Ivam Institute. Um, uh, from what I understand, it's been more than 10 years, uh, many years since Tralik Kavgan Rinpoche passed, right? But coming here to the center, the setup and the way you, all of you students are working together and gathering and practicing, it's like he was here just yesterday. So um, this is very touching and very um, wonderful to see. And I've really uh, been delighted to see this. It's, uh, I feel it's just uh, coming to the center is just like being at a, a, a Tibetan center, the way you're upholding your teacher's tradition. <laughs> Lama Shingshan, Lami Gombatu, Lami Shatoris. Because even after uh, one's teacher has passed away, to continue um, for working, to continue to uphold their vision and work towards fulfilling their vision, that is all service to the Guru and offering to the Guru. Mm -hmm. 
Ende lang geht in die geht in ganze Dupaldur geschafft aus da die schafft aus die Chickness die Tola den Rang Lüge geschafft aus Rang Lüge Kali ja Rang die Bena Jizun Mela ge Marbala Shabji Shivana Jinchi ge ne Lüge Kali ja die schafft die Tele ja ne Junrong Cha Phoi Bala ja Tele Cha Bala Tele Cha Cha Ga de Tashu de ganze Rang Duba Nyamlen Chi Kuti den Nyamlen Chi de Kuti Lami ge schafft aus Tashu de Duba Nyamlen ge schafft aus Dini kiran so der den la machin shani taron ti chu ju ba sen taron ge ti chu ri nyam len je de ju ti ta la ma la sha pro ji ya shu tres um paying service to one's gurus or making offerings yeah uh paying service to one's guru is actually part of guru yoga we say that we need to engage in in engage in guru yoga uh practice right um uh that we need to accomplish the guru and in terms of accomplishing the guru or engaging in guru yoga there are three types of offering or service that we can make the first is the offering of material things um offering wealth and and yeah material objects um second is uh making offerings with your body and your speech so with your actions and your words um com- basically to serve and contribute to the uh to the teacher um this is for instance like uh, the great yogi milarepa um serving his guru mapalot sawa with his body and speech um and this is superior um a superior kind of service to just making offerings of material things um so that's the second type of service the third and um supreme type of service is to engage in practice um to practice oneself this is the best way of serving the guru so all of you here you even though your teacher has passed away you continue to uphold his tradition um and you continue to practice and and gather here together so in these ways you are offering the supreme kind of service to your teacher inda indi kan latini kira so lama ke shapto ya da pati tuba ina te lami ke chilap chudi kan san lama ke kusun tuk nye wa chung kan da chilap de jugres And when we offer when one offers genuine authentic service to the guru um one can thereby uh delight and please them the, please the guru their enlightened body speech and mind and through that one can receive the blessings then let me get to that in the deton kake yo maris let me get to the nam kana shere let me get to the yishire the end you cannot stand the kawaju de na kana na batamjela then is six paris The guru's enlightened mind uh, is like space it is primordial wisdom it is beyond coming and going beyond uh uh location here and there so even if the guru is not physically present the guru's mind is still accessible it's still with you Monkeranzo kanesu rotta na ya tene la mala jang jutu yo maris jang re dung yo maris So when you supplicate the guru no matter where you are there is no distance between you and the guru when you pray to them Tendo kansa ngina yinge ripoge to lama jang poge ndewa jindengo ri kansa kana ba tukum yona pepsha ta lama la solo kanre ta ko to lama ta kanre to sta ko ris Um in a week or so I'm going to be um teaching on the prayer known as calling the guru from afar um at Rigpa and if you have time then please come because I will discuss uh how we pray to the guru what the guru really is what what the guru means and so on Ini ta kanan so tamje tanda chuti ku shuji de de to teti na shin cha lami ki sa da kanan gun kan ni o tamji ki tene cho so de de gun dan ni ya bu dan ron nas So as I've said you're all so organized and together um here at the center so please continue this and continue in this way to um fulfill your guru's vision Ini tinde chon so ba ju kanan cho so ju ye pan ju tene cho ka chale jang ju la le la o lama ku cho shi ju le la o rang nyam len che ko tap de wotin la re ti ma don dan san tu ze pe san la sange mi re re ki tene che che ki de kale ka wo she wa re de shi zo de ne ma ra zo zo de ge che na ka ma ze ya wo re la ma ya bo je ge re che ya bo yo ge re de ne kan ju ma ya re ju ju ma re ge ma sham re la ma ya di se me che ya di se me de ne yar me ma re de cha ga re and it's really a precious and fortunate thing to have a dharma center and to maintain a dharma center because um it it's like a central hub it gives you uh 
the space to space and opportunity to learn different practices and rituals. It gives you the space and opportunity to invite teachers and receive teachings and transmissions from them. Um, it gives you the space and opportunity to learn the Dharma thoroughly and properly. Without a Dharma center and being without sort of connecting oneself to a Dharma center, staying at a Dharma center, and just going hither and thither, uh, you know, to this event and that, ev that event without, without any kind of real uh, basis. Uh, it's really difficult, actually. There's, yeah, um, one can become quite kind of groundless. You can go end up going to many events for a long time, but not really having any certainty about who your teacher is, what your tradition is, and what you're doing. So to really root yourself in a center and maintain the center uh, like this is extremely beneficial. Also, uh, taken rebirth, his reincarnation has been identified, right? Um, so to serve the center um, and uphold the center, maintain it and help it to grow is also service to uh, Rinpoche's reincarnation. Uh, in the future, Rinpoche's reincarnation will continue the previous Chalik Yavgin Rinpoche's activities um, and everything you uh, contribute to the center will contribute to the reincarnation's activity. And today during the Vajrasattva Puja, I made uh, vast and heartfelt fervent aspirations um, for the center uh, and for all of you practitioners here. Um, I pray that the center may uh, flourish and, and grow, um, that all of you connected to the center may be able to practice authentically, free of obstacles, that your own practice might flourish. Um, and I supplicated Guru Rinpoche, Vajrasattva and so on, uh, and invoked a downpour of blessings onto the center and onto all of, uh, all of you here. Um, so, I, in conclusion, a big tashi dele, my very best wishes uh, and everything to all of you. Um, you all kind of welcomed me uh, and attended me uh, so well. I really appreciate this, and most especially a big tashi delay to Chalik Kyavgin Rinpoche's Khandro, who's arrived here. Oh yeah, that's all I have to say. Thank you. Mm -hmm.